you. Questions are being raised about a local deputy's own criminal history. It's part of a lawsuit against both the Los Animas County Sheriff's Office and one of its lieutenants. Excuse me. News 5's Maggie Bryan joins us in studio to explain. Maggie. Robin Diane, the man filing the lawsuit was tased in the face by Lieutenant Henry Trujillo with the Los Animas County Sheriff's Office. The man's attorney says the deputy should have never been on the force because of his prior criminal history. Kenneth Espinoza's attorney says his client and the man's son were driving in separate trucks when his son was pulled over by a Los Animas County Sheriff's deputy back in November. Espinoza pulled over too. Do you need to be behind this traffic stop? Yeah, I do. Why? It's my son right there. We just don't like when people pull in behind us. In this body camera video we received from the man's attorney, okay. Lieutenant Henry Trujillo orders him to leave. You need to leave now or you're going to get charged. It's that easy. You need to go. No, I okay. don't. I'm waiting on my son. Right. The man refuses, but moments later starts backing up in his truck while deputies are seen pointing weapons at him. Oh, now! Put your hands behind your back. Lieutenant Trujillo tases him in the face as he's handcuffed while he and another deputy try to get him into the car. The DA's office has dropped all charges, including resisting arrest and assaulting a peace officer. Absolutely no criminal or traffic infractions here whatsoever. Now his attorney is filing a civil lawsuit against the sheriff's office and Lieutenant Trujillo. These guys don't need badges anymore. He says Trujillo should have never been on the force because of his criminal history. We confirm Trujillo was charged with felony menacing with a weapon, which he pleaded down to misdemeanor disorderly conduct in 1997. The next year, he was convicted of misdemeanor harassment. A harassment conviction would disqualify someone from getting that kind of certification. Absolutely. It's right in the statute. All peace officers in Colorado need a post certification, which according to the state cannot be obtained with a conviction of that kind. Back then, the attorney says the sheriff's office could have signed off on it anyway. If the department thought you were doing a good job, they would send off paperwork to have the, the post board certify you. Multiple restraining orders have been filed against Trujillo, including in 2006 for a domestic abuse incident that the attorney says made it illegal for him to have firearms and another in 2007 for stalking and physical assault or threat. The attorney says Trujillo was forced to resign by the sheriff's office because of a conviction in 2009 that is now sealed. He was later rehired and in 2018 promoted to lieutenant of patrol operations. He's the third in command. He's the top ranking patrol deputy in that department. On Tuesday, the Los Animas County Sheriff sent a news release saying he's asked for help from an outside agency to review the actions of his deputies. He says the lieutenant is still on active duty. We reached out to the Los Animas County Sheriff's Office for comment on Trujillo's criminal history. We did not hear back. Rob.